Hey, what's up everyone? This week, I want to share with you something pretty amazing I saw recently on Twitter. And it is how a very small mistake in Swift UI code can actually entirely crash an iOS app. So what is this mistake and why is it so dangerous? For this, let's take a look at this code. As you can see, I have implemented a very simple Swift UI view. In this view, you have a button, you have an H tag, you have an image, a text, and finally, you have a modifier being called on the image. So nothing fancy here. It's really the kind of code that you can find in any Swift UI code base. And just to show you that for now, the code is working perfectly fine. I'm going to run it in the simulator. So here it is. As you can see, the view is displaying and I can even interact with the button. So now it's time I introduce this terrible mistake. Here it is on that line, the line where I'm calling the padding modifier on the image. I'm going to mistakenly remove this leading dot character. Now I'm going to run the app once again to see what's going to happen. But before I do, I want to display this panel in Xcode, which shows both the CPU and memory usage of the app. And as you can see with the code before I introduced my mistake, CPU was at 0% and memory was at 15 megabytes. And as we can see, this time, as soon as the app starts, memory usage is growing like crazy. We are already at over one gigabyte of memory used. It's the same thing for the CPU. We are at 99% load all the time. And both these stats are absolutely crazy, given that the app is only displaying a button with a small image and a small text. And remember, before I introduced my mistake, it was 0% of CPU and I think something like 15 megabytes of memory. Of course, such a crazy usage of device resources cannot go on forever. And after a few seconds, our app ended up crashing. So let's go back to the code and actually try to understand how such a small mistake can have such a big impact. Originally, my code was like this and I was calling the modifier padding on this image right here. So what exactly happened when I mistakenly deleted that dot character? One thing is for sure, and is that without this dot character, I'm no longer calling the modifier padding on the image. So the big question is to find out on which value is this modifier now being called. And to answer that question, first, we need to take a look at where we are. We are currently inside the body of our content view, meaning that we are inside a computed property of a type that conforms to the protocol view. And we need to also remember that padding is a method that is defined on the protocol view. That's why we are able to call it an image, which is also a view. But since content view is also a view and that we are inside a computed property of content view, what's actually happening is that we are calling the modifier padding on self. And now the root cause behind the crash is easier to understand. Inside the body of my content view, I am mistakenly calling a modifier on the content view, which in turn triggers the body being evaluated once more, which triggers the modifier being called once more, which triggers the body being evaluated once more, etc., etc., which results in a crazy memory allocation, crazy CPU usage, and ultimately the app being crashed. And what I find so frustrating here is the fact that the compiler doesn't emit any error or any warning to let me know that there is probably something wrong with my code that I definitely want to check out. And it's a real shame because as we've seen, that small error is absolutely guaranteed to crash your app. However, it's worth noting that if I had set up a linter in my project, the linter would have actually probably caught the error because right now in my code, the indentation level is not correct. Since I am no longer calling the modifier padding on the image, the correct indentation level should be that one and definitely not that extra level right here. So if there is one thing you should take away from this video is the fact that when you see a weird warning from your linter, you definitely don't want to ignore it because it could actually hide an issue that will completely crash your app. As I said in the intro, I first heard about this issue on Twitter on the account of Nicolo Fontana. So I have a big thank you to him. There's a link to the tweet in the description. Make sure you check it out. Thank you for watching and see you next time.